Wait. Low battery. Low battery. He's recording. He has not recording. I probably would look like trash from that angle. Never. Um, I have decided that I think I'm done for the day. I have been trying to work on my management and fitting everything into a certain amount of time. I had a, I don't want to say I had a difficult start this morning, but I had to like give myself like this whole like pep talk to get out of bed. What happened was I didn't go to bed until about almost 2.30 in the morning and I needed to be up by 7.30 because um, my brother came over for the day. Um, it was actually really sweet. My mom sent me a message last night. I was like, hey, I know you start school tomorrow. And I know Curry's girlfriend is there. And I don't want to be a nuisance, but then Michael come hang out for a bit because I guess he's sick. Low battery. And at least I am. Um, he's sick and he's not in school. So of course he can. Um, so I wanted to be up for that. But also, I have made it up in my mind. And I don't even want to say it on camera because I feel like anytime I like make an announcement or make it a big deal, it's like this level of pressure and I end up not sticking with it. But I think it's different this time because I have made school a priority clearly because I'm doing it. Um, and I've decided that anything from now on that I decide to do, I'm going to treat it the same way I treat school. School is a priority. I'm going to get my assignments done. I'm going to get my studying done and everything I need to do. So I'll just make that or whatever thing I need to do or want to do a priority as well because that important to me. So um, <laughs> I talked about, I think it was like in December, um, how I wanted to like join a gym and do this and that or whatever. And instead, oh, just kept playing. Anyway, um, I talked about how I wanted to make these changes and stuff for my health and just for myself to feel better. Um, I haven't been able to join a gym yet, but I didn't want to use not joining a gym as an excuse. So I was like, you know, I'm just going to go back to my yoga. And the reason why I avoided going back to my yoga is because since we got um, the cat, um, I hadn't been able to come and do my yoga in the living room because um, of allergies and there's like a lot of cat hair and stuff. And it's not like a ton. And it's not so much the cat hair, but um, the dandruff or dander, or whatever you call it, the cat. Um, but I was out here with the family the other day and we were playing Monopoly and everybody instantly got on the floor. And I was like, okay, I guess I'm getting on the floor, which I was a little nervous about because of my allergies. But I was on the floor for quite a while and I was okay. Um, I showered and stuff after, but um, it was all right. So I decided I was gonna go back to yoga starting today and decided that I think it was last night or the night before just randomly. And I told my husband, I also wanted to, um, I used to, when I was younger, I feel so old saying that, but it was about six years ago. Hey, no, no. it was about six years ago. Yeah, wow, about six or seven years ago. I used to jog a lot and I loved it. Um, when I was younger, I was a little more active and my asthma wasn't really as bad as it is now. So I haven't jogged in quite a while because I have like exercise induced asthma. Um, but again, I'm trying not to be negative. I'm trying to be more optimistic. Like. It's a real thing, yes, but I'm sure there's a way around it. So the same way my allergies are kind of balancing themselves out, even though I'm really allergic to cats, I've been okay. I've been spending more time with the cat. I've been out here more. And I think it's really just putting myself in a difficult situation and working through it. And then I just kind of normalize, I guess. So I was like, well, maybe I'll just start jogging in the mornings and at some point, my body will be like, okay, this is a routine thing now. We won't let you have an asthma attack and die. So, or taking my like inhaler with me or something like that. So there are a few things that I need before I'm able to do that. Like I need like some really good running shoes and I want to get another, um, well, I have a different phone now from when I used to jog. So I need like the, um, 
aren't banned from my phone. It's, you know, listening to music, clearly everyone wants to do that when they're jogging. Um, or maybe like a little fanny pack or something to keep my key in and um, my inhaler. Um, and a sports bra, a new sports bra. I have some, but there's a difference between lounging sports bras and sports bras where, hey, I'm jogging. I have really big boobs and I need a yes, lot of support. Yes, you do. So Ooh. that's priority. But um, again, until I'm able to get these things or do this stuff, I didn't want to just sit around waiting and eating cake. So I was like, I'm just going to get back into my yoga. It's a small step forward. And honestly, physically, I've been feeling like crap lately. And I needed to do something to start feeling better physically. And I felt great when I was doing yoga. So um, this morning, <laughs> despite being super tired, I'm going to get like four hours of sleep. I made myself get up at 7.30. I sat at the end of my bed for like 10 minutes, like trying to talk myself out of it. But I did not do that. I got up, everyone was still asleep, it was still a little bit dark outside, and I rolled out my yoga mat, <laughs> I turned on DDP yoga, and I did my, it was like 25-30 minute session, and it was a bit difficult, it wasn't like hard, but like the loops themselves weren't hard, like I'm used to that, even though it's been a while, the hard part was I didn't realize um, how bad my muscles has have been, um, and like at some point I felt like I popped my arm out of place, which is really uncommon for me. I like to think I'm a pretty flexible person. So just let me know. Maybe it's just like a stress thing. I don't know. But uh, I didn't like that. I didn't like feeling that way. And I was like, I am, I'll be 24 in a few days. And I felt like a 54 year old woman this morning. And that's not cool. Um, so I have to do this for me. It's not even so much about losing weight. Um, I do want to drop a few pounds. Like I said, my husband the other night, um, I would be happy with losing like 30 to 40 pounds. Not like, I don't expect to be as small as I was when I was like 16, but I do want to feel a little bit lighter and not feel slow and sluggish all the time. So, um, I've decided that that's what I'm going to do the same way I make school a priority. I get up, I'm going to be getting up every morning and doing my studies. Um, the first thing I'm going to do when I get up in the morning is do my yoga. And at some point when I'm able to, I'll maybe incorporate jogging or maybe the gym or something. But yoga is something I can do right now that I don't have to pay for. So I'm going to do that. Um, so anyway, I got up and I did that. I'm going to have to take care of some business and then... Uh, my brother came and he's so sweet. It's always so sad and so sweet when kids are sick. Um, but he laid on the couch and he almost immediately fell asleep. And my husband got up shortly after. I took a shower and got dressed and then he came out here and started studying. I realized that it's a lot, lot, lot. Um, and it's a whole lot to take in, absorb. Um, and I was warned about that when it comes to psychology. But I am happy. I didn't realize I was looking at my schedule um, for session A of spring semester. I just have psychology, which is probably really good. It worked out that way because this is a lot and um, it's a lot of different theories. And so I'm in chapter one and it's just the introduction and it's a lot. So um, I will be able to focus on this because this is apparently one of the harder classes that I'll have um, with getting my bachelor's degree. And I'm taking it for my first class. So I'm glad I'm able to just focus on that. So I'll kind of come up with what I thought was a, what I think is a good schedule. Like I got up early today, but I'll probably get up about nine in the morning, every morning or so, do my yoga and then go right to my studies. And I'll probably do that for a good six, seven hours or so. Um, but at a certain time, like maybe five or six in the afternoon, I want to be done with schoolwork for the day, like not going back to it because I want to make sure that I have um, time to spend with my family and also, you know, take an hour or two to do my cleaning and regular stuff that I would do. Um, so no more sleeping till like two in the afternoon. I'm going to miss that, but <laughs> I need to prioritize my time and, um, get used to this new lifestyle that I'll be living for the next several years. So, yeah. Um, so that's my day so far. And um, also, making doing these videos a priority. It's not always going to be something going on, which is why sometimes I don't do a video. But again, I'm trying to have the mindset of, you know, when something's important to you or you decide you're going to do something, then do it every day. You know, don't make excuses. I can't not do school, you know. 
because I've decided that's important. So I'm going to have that same mindset when it comes to yoga, when it comes to doing my videos, even if I don't feel like it. Because I'm sure there are going to be times where I don't feel like doing schoolwork, but it needs to be done. So baby steps, but I'm getting there. So yeah. This is so weird, you watching me record. <laughs> what are you going to do with that? <laughs> this is what happens behind the scenes when the camera goes off. She's still just sitting there. <laughs> like, nothing fancy is happening nothing here. Happening. Nothing fancy. I'm just so proud of you, baby. Thank you, babe. You're so Thank cute you. over there. Mm.